Good afternoon, everyone. It's so great to see a packed house full of graduates here. I am so excited to be here with you uh, today, and we have a great, great uh, event lined up. Um, so I'm Michael Betts. I'm president of Walden University, and it is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to Walden University's 68th commencement ceremony. Commencement is a landmark in the lives of you, our graduates, and your families. This is an occasion for all of us to express our pride in your accomplishments. It wasn't long ago that we, weren't a, that we were unable to gather in person. So not only is this an occasion to celebrate your accomplishments, but it is also a reminder of the simple joy of being together as a community. As we begin our ceremony today, I would like to acknowledge an integral part of our community, Walden University's Board of Directors. Their devotion to our mission and our students has made us the thriving, distinctive institution that we are today. I ask that all of our board members please stand so that we may recognize you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your passion for Walden and each and every one of our students. Walden celebrates commencement twice a year, and this celebration is one that spans the globe. The stunning display of flags on the screens represent the 116 countries that our graduates currently call home, from Canada to Zimbabwe. I'm always inspired when so many members of our global learning community come together in one place. And although commencement is a joyous occasion, it is also a bittersweet one for many of us. As we gather today, we cannot help but think of the remarkable people who are unable to experience this moment with us and share their light with us. At this time, let us remember those in the Walden community that we have lost since the last commencement and recognize their impact on Walden's legacy. The names of these individuals are in your commencement book on pages 23 and 24, and can be found online on the Walden commencement page. Please join me in honoring their memories with a moment of silence. Thank you. I would now like to turn the podium over to my colleague, Dr. Sue Subak, Associate President and Provost for uh, for her address and to invite our esteemed Walden community members who will share a few words with you to mark this momentous occasion. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Subak. Welcome graduates. I hope you've had a chance to enjoy some of the sun maybe yesterday or earlier this week here in Florida. I know coming from Pittsburgh, I have taken the opportunity to get outside, which um, many of us are not able to do at our homes. I will say today though, I think you played a trick on the Floridians because I think you all bottled all that sunlight up and you brought it in here because you are all shining, those smiles are so bright and it's cloudy outside because I think you took it. So um, maybe you'll take it back out and, and let it loose for everyone later on today, thank you. And as you know, at Walden, we believe that light shining is represented most enduringly through our concept of social change. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And you know, a decade ago, I looked on that statement as obvious, kind of a cliche even. Of course, education serves as a catalyst for increasing political participation, improving health outcomes, and creating a mechanism for advancing equity. Of course, for people like me, a first-generation college student from a coal mining, steelworking family, education serves as a catalyst for changing one's personal and familial economic status. And I only imagined a future where this kind of change persisted. And yet I think we all know it has not. Data show that educational equity gaps are not just persisting, they are widening, certainly in the United States, but also globally. I also didn't fully comprehend then the variations in access that allowed me the opportunity for success, an opportunity that may not have been available for everyone, 
not just in education, but in so many parts of our world. And in this moment in history, we sit every day on social media, maybe some of you are even doing that now, at the dinner tables, watching that struggle. It unfolds all around us daily in our politics, in our health outcomes. You can't get away from it. And it's not always the most productive. It's not always the most civil. I don't think many times it's often very inspiring. People are drawing lines all the time, creating their own echo chambers, and the battle just keeps going on and on. And so the degree you have in hand today is a tool, <laughs> a tool you can use to help as we move forward from this day. So I ask that each of you engage across those lines, using your educational experience for good, to get out of our echo chambers and find ways to contribute to an equitable future, one where access and opportunity are available to all who seek it. That won't be easy. It'll take work. And it's some serious business. But all of you have made a commitment to engage in the kinds of positive social change that can tackle that serious business into the future. And we, the big Walden we, have all shown we can do it just by being here today, celebrating all that has led each of us here. All right, so let's come back to, to today for a moment, that Florida sun. To each of you, our graduates shining brightly, as you leave this auditorium first, have some fun. You're at Disney. You won the Super Bowl, you're going to Disney, right? Savor the moment. It's important that you reflect on all you have done and celebrate. We all need some celebration these days. And as you do that, I hope you will also take a moment or two to think about all that you hope to change in your world now that you have that degree in hand. Whether that is from influencing a nation, your workplace, your local community, and or you and your families to carry forward that change you have already demonstrated a commitment to by completing your Walden degree. But remember, change doesn't happen by chance. It's a choice. And no one can inspire you to make a change better than yourself. You did that already when you started your degree at Walden. And you did it every day since then as you fit coursework into your already busy schedules. You looked yourselves in the mirror and you dug just a little bit deeper, reminding yourselves of where you wanted to go. And so you pushed yourselves to overcome new challenges, to achieve more, to lead yourselves to the future you want to create. You took charge and changed things for the better, for yourselves, your families, and your communities. And now, with degree in hand, soon enough, that philosophy lives in each and every one of you as you set your course for change. I wish to leave you with some words that inspired me and speaks to your light. Amanda Gorman said, for there is always light if we're only brave enough to see it, if we're only brave enough to be it. Being the light, the beacon for positive social change, represents far more than our university's mission, a mission you have all embraced and will take with you wherever you go. It's also a Walden philosophy that requires each of us to be brave enough to speak our own light. Thank you and congratulations. Speaking of inspiring change, I'd like to acknowledge the group most responsible for ensuring the Walden spirit of positive change endures, and that light is passed on from graduating class to graduating class. You saw them leading the way at the outset of the ceremony and now is the time for us all to recognize the commitment to social change and to the success of each and every one of you by Walden's esteemed faculty and academic leaders who are in attendance in the room and those watching online. I ask that all our academic leaders and faculty members here today please stand or otherwise signify your presence and be recognized. And I'd now like to invite a representative of our faculty and academic leadership community to the podium. 
One who, like so many of our academic community, demonstrates the Walden commitment to positive social change every minute of every day. Associate Director of the School of Interdisciplinary Undergraduate Studies, Dr. Lisa Pertiller Brevard. translation of these traditional lyrics, which date to the year 1287, reads thusly. Let us therefore rejoice while we are young. Let us therefore rejoice while we are young. After a delightful youth, after a troublesome old age, the grave will contain us. The grave will contain us. In other words, let us rejoice. Let us renew our commitment to self and society until we are dust. The concept of youth in Gaudiamus Igitur is deceptive because it floats separately from the phrases delightful youth and troublesome old age. In fact, the phrase juvenes dum sumus, or while we are young, expresses the narrator's prevailing attitude, not a chronological age or station in life. The key concept is that of renewal. And renewal, the process of starting all over again, is what commencement, today's joyous event, is all about. In Self-Reliance, 1841, Ralph Waldo Emerson talks about renewal as evidence of what he calls the self-relying soul. Quote, the genesis and maturation of a planet, its poise and orbit, the bended tree, recovering itself from the strong wind. The vital resource of every animal and vegetable are demonstrations of the self-sufficing and therefore self-relying soul." End quote. Here, Emerson mentions self-preservation as evidence of renewal in nature while illustrating nature's community. Emerson's observations remind us that as much as living creatures exhibit self-determination, they best do so as part of the larger community. Self-reliance, renewal, and community connect the life and legacy of Harriet Tubman, formerly Araminta Ross, known as the conductor of the Underground Railroad, a network of people in hideaways used for chattel slaves to escape to free territories in the North. In 1849, Araminta, alone, at the age of 27, reached her goal of escaping to freedom in Pennsylvania. According to her biographer, Sarah Bradford, Tugman said, when I found I had crossed that line, 
I looked at my hands to see if I was the same person, end quote. She said of making it into the free state of Pennsylvania, where she took on her mother's name of Harriet. Quote, there was such a glory over everything. The sun came like gold through the trees and over the fields, and I felt like I was in heaven, end quote. Tubman reached her goal of freedom for herself. She did not rest on her laurels, however. Tubman's freedom, as it turned out, became a stepping stone for even greater achievements. According to Mears, Tubman's, quote, adaptability would lead Tubman to excel in her post-underground railroad endeavors. Over the next half century, she would work as a Union Army general, a liberator, a nurse, a cook, a scout, aspiring chief, a celebrated orator, a caretaker, and a community organizer, end quote. Tubman kept on reaching, kept on climbing, kept on believing, kept on trying new things until her very last breath. Nor is the concept of renewal relegated to historical figures. For example, in the Hollywood film The Wizard of Oz, 1939, a film adaptation of L. Frank Baum's book, which is loosely based on the Chinese, traditional Chinese story, Journey to the West, Dorothy, who longs to return to her Kansas home, skips along a yellow brick road alongside three companions. The tin man, who seeks a heart, the cowardly lion, who seeks courage, and the scarecrow, who seeks brains. Of course, Dorothy and her companions learn that all of the traits that they seek are innate, albeit dormant. When Dorothy clicks her heels three times, she reawakens and begins again, starting a new journey. Beginning again is a driving theme in children's nursery rhymes. Take, for example, the story of Finnegan, who begins again many times, no matter how many challenges beset him. And let's not forget the pluck and perseverance of the itsy bitsy spider. Known in the UK as Incy Wincy Spider, who, undaunted by considerable environmental challenges, repeatedly starts all over again. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Sing it with me. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> the stories of Finnegan and the itsy bitsy spider endure because of their continued relevance as metaphors for life. I know what starting over is like. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina destroyed my home and place of work. As a result, my husband Frank and I had to start all over again, abruptly moving from New Orleans, Louisiana, to eventually re-establish our lives in Virginia, seeking employment, housing, health care. It was not easy. The challenges were many, and they lasted for many years. But I remembered my mother's words, quote, if you make one step, God will help you make two, end quote. And somewhere 
in between the tears. I also remembered the itsy bitsy spider and sunshine and possibilities. Thank goodness for possibilities. Thank goodness for the chance to start over again. Graduates, as we celebrate your achievements here at Walden University, and as we acknowledge the faculty, staff, families, communities, and loved ones who helped along the way, let us also celebrate new beginnings. Raise your hand if you know what starting over is like. Starting over is just what the mother in Langston Hughes's poem, Mother to Son, does. In Mother to Son, a mother counsels her son who has become discouraged. She tells him that her whole life has consisted of striving to climb a rickety, splintered, and uncertain staircase, even in the darkness. The staircase represents her hopes and dreams, which she is determined to work toward no matter how steep and dangerous the climb. She admonishes her son, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps because you find it's kind of hard. Don't you fall now. The mother imparts her wisdom and strength to her son as she reminds him that she is still climbing. Graduates, celebrate your Walden achievements, but do not rest there. The world needs your skills, your talents, your creativity, your focus, your diligence, your determination. These and more are inside of you. Let your diplomas be a reminder not only of the challenges that you have overcome, but also an abiding seal connecting you to your hopes and dreams and to communities near and far. As you embark on your new journey, you will encounter joys and dilemmas that you never thought possible. And armed with your experiences and your walled in knowledge, you will be ready to face them, giving them the old college try. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rivard. How many of us are still singing Itsy Bitsy Spider in our heads? <laughs> That'll be there for at least a day or so. Um, I was actually thinking that um, we probably could all walk outside and talk to a Disney cast member and come back next year and have an itsy bitsy spider ride out there. And we'd know Walden did that. So um, with us today, we also have uh, joining our community people who are with us celebrating around the world. So it's wonderful to be able to see our graduates here in person, but we also have them on screen and on Facebook. You've shared photos in your regalia with your spouses, children, and families, celebrating in some of your favorite locations. And from the photos you have shared with us, it is clear you have truly been savoring this moment. Thank you for sharing that joy with all of us today. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Walden graduates, it is my pleasure to ask Tony Freeman, chair of the Walden University Board of Directors, to join me at the podium for the conferral of your degrees.
Will the candidates for the education specialist degree please rise or otherwise signify your presence? <laughs> Ms. Freeman, on behalf of my esteemed colleagues on the faculty of Walden University, I have the great pleasure of presenting to you these candidates who have completed all of the requirements for the degree of education specialist. Thank you, Dr. Schubach. Before I confer the degrees, I'd like to introduce you to our newest board member. Today has been her first day to experience our Walden graduation celebration. I'd like to introduce you to Lisa Waddell. <laughs> Candidates, upon the authority vested in the Board of Directors of Walden University by the state of Minnesota, I confer upon you the degree of education specialist with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Graduates, you may be seated. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise or otherwise signify your presence? These include candidates for the Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Business Administration, Master of Healthcare Administration, Master of Information Systems Management, Master of Philosophy, Master of Public Administration, Master of Public Health, Master of Public Policy, Master of Science, Master of Science in Nursing, and the Master of Social Work. All right, so to be fair, if you are not getting a Master of Science in Nursing, and you are not getting a Master of Social Work, let's give a hoot and holler. All right, and just in case, if you're getting a master's degree, this means you. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Freeman, on behalf of my esteemed colleagues on the faculty of Walden University, I have the great pleasure of presenting to you these candidates who have completed all of their master's degree requirements. <laughs> We're excited to Candidates upon the authority vested in the Board of Directors of Walden University by the state of Minnesota, Minnesota, I confer upon you the degrees of Masters of Arts in Teaching, Master of Business Administration, Master of Health Administration, Master of Information Systems Management, Master of Philosophy, Master of Public Administration, Master of Public Health, Master of Public Policy, Master of Science, Master of Science in Nursing, and Master of Social Work. <laughs> with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. <laughs> Graduates, you may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and Bachelor of Social Work please rise or otherwise signify your presence? <laughs> Ms. Freeman, on behalf of my esteemed colleagues on the faculty of Walden University, I have the great pleasure of presenting to you these candidates who have completed all of the requirements for the degrees of Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and Bachelor of Social Work. Candidates, upon the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of Walden University by the State of Minnesota, I confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Science, 
Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and Bachelor of Social Work with all the rights, responsibilities thereto appertaining. Bachelor's graduates, you may be seated. Before we ask our graduates to join us on stage, I'd like to mention that you'll see a few of them wearing a teal stole with the Walden University seal. This stole represents their special affiliation as employees of Walden and the Atalum family. It also means they are likely to get a lot of hugs as they go across the stage. I know you, how excited you all are to see your graduates on stage, so please feel free to give them a shout as we call up the degree levels to be recognized. And now, let's begin individually recognizing our graduates. Will the education specialist candidates please join me on stage for conferral of your degrees and to be recognized. Courtney Bree Kitsko West. Jamisha Harrison. Kathy Gannigan. Corrine Howell. Yokita Bird. Lauren Campbell. All right. Will the master's candidates please join me on stage for conferral of your degrees and to be recognized. Danielle R. Smith. Anju Gupta. Jonah Graham Postel. Jean Russell. Tanisha Payne. Jillian Martinez. John Enberg. Taisha Belcher. Shania Tibbetts Lightbody. Benjamin Amponsa. Wilbert Will Joshua. Michelle Ament. Desmond Oriental Ellis. Wilmarie Fernandez Velez. Trista Kimber. Sandra Walker. Nicole Pickler. Amaris Mendoza.
So yo yay ba yuk. Nancy Faith Mora. Joyce Martha Johnson. Jasmine McElwain. Jimena Patane. Tanya Richards Davis. Devon Jeffrey. Jasmine Barnes. Embide Msue Nzume. Tatiana Porterfield Bond. Ebony Obuji. Francisco Barreto Castellanos. Tamer Alhindi. Yasmin Ramos Barbosa. Santirel Sirju Das. Kristen Marie Snyder. Salad Abajira. Marie E. Robinson. Colleen Walker. La Excellence Dantzler. Taylor Porcelli. Renande Filzame. Kirsten Murphy. Mary Schnaubelt. Jasmine Foreman. Yolanda Thomas. Kiana Smith. Jen Klein. Jomo Richards. Christina Clark. Andrew Anderson. Shelby Williams. Kaja Roberts. Ernesto McFarland.
Nordia Halstead Givens. Jordan Ingolia. Lauren Ann Dixon. Marissa Ferguson. Shayla Thomas. Summer Nadell. Alicia Weed. Hala Seabritz. Adrian McIntyre. Jody and Grace Henry Panther. Andrea Hubbard. Corey Scalf. Timothy Ford. Amanda Gilcrest. Earl Calrissian McNeil. Carrie Ann Morris. Sherestine Muir. Anne Marie Cadian Williams. Talisha Clark. Elise Poole. Danielle Brown. Christine Corcoran. Lisa Marie Jar. Monica McGee. Lakeisha Glenn. Jaquana Dickey. Yesel Rodriguez. Marissa Gavin. Kamika Nellums. Joshua Harris. Exanthia Baptiste. Jaquina L. MacGyver. Taylor Pemberton. Kamohelo Mokayane. Maisha Lambert.
Chazzy Blankenship. Kia Monet Hunt. Malika Monica Maria Lopez Uvier. Kiwana Hills. Busayo Oladiran. Rajim McDonald. Tracy Mullen. Stella Bello. Rashida N. Howard. Azure Augustine. Eugene Eccles. Jaleesa Johnson. Carly Cowie. James Croft. Ryan Page. Bria Waters. Adria Jackson. Brianna McCabe. Esme Smart. Allison Mull. Kenderlyn Kelly. Desiree Joling Kuhn. Tiaquina Hayes. Miriam Alnayim. Jessica Lindsay. Glenn Jackson. Whitney Jenkins. Stephanie Beal. Lazaro Renteria Jr. Elonda Maxwell Sheely. Shani Whedon. Gina Evans. Kathy Hogan. Latrice Gaddis.
Hawa Sirleaf Harris. Jennifer Riley Pringle. Shonda Smith. Joel Asensio. Nicole Alvarez. Maria Wardlow. Zayn Khalid. Tarcel King. Marion Nolan. Rebecca J. Benson. Doris Morgan. Agnes Mukaragema. Chiselle de Jesus. Emily Pior. Cassidy Hollerbush. Tiffany Lamel. Linda G. Eugenia Ezuechi. Sarah Dowda. Georgette Edwards. Pamela Gill. Becky Toman. Christy Nanji. Evelyn Dunkwu. Ruthann Halverson. Martha and Jemmy. Marina Che. Gertrude and Dunsey. Eurail Colon. Folake Okunola. Mary Rachel Hensley. Amarachi Edom. Limata Amusa Majibi. Billert Ambe.
Mary I. Solomon. Christina Costa. Desiree Benson. Caitlin Schumberger. Navdeep Singh. Amanpreet Chima. Folukemi Oloweto. Irina Batashki. Sharon McKnight. Lisa McClure. Jinky Shaw. Alma Nair. Nakima Isler. Caroline Dwati. Ernest Isidore. Yvonne Morris. Hilda Arin. Celine Foti. Rolande Mail Mayayu. Sandrine Kaze. Deborah Lee. Cassandra Schultz. Murren Okocha. Justina Awazi. Petra Maria Ogurumba. Rebecca Atanode. Ebony Harris. Janelle Camino. Camissa Manreal Bolo. Nidia Hall. Anne Stephen. Marley Joseph. Eve Rose Centil. John Kamau. Rachel Putzel. Cleveland Davis III.
Brock Anderson. Megan Hovermail. Stella Enong. Voltaire Ferrer. Chima Egwim. Jasmine Clemens. Aminata Kanu. Emilia Efeoma Osuigwe. Paula Harter. Tiffany Schmelter. Helen Onyeuba. Jada Davis. Kristen Malinowski. Mary Booker. Mustafa, Mustafa Jobareth. Gabrielle Riley. Elizabeth Williams. Pamela Conhai Watkins. Widlin Lewis Isidore. Oletoyin Adesanya. Colette Omaregbe. Baglakshemi Gangadorun. Chinwedu Onuoha. Allison Scott. Gladys New. Sydney Rosen. Elijah Mabururu. Esther Njingu. Mercy Schwembaum. Agnes Manin. Megan Medley. Tina Ize. Lillian Enyude. Cassandra Calvin. Adrian Kelly. Paul Carlo Castro.
Uzoa Maka Mbagduga. Mary Asang. Jane Akomea. Rosina Pack. Stella Emeranini. Adi Damola Adafioye. Akuchi Emilogu. Evelyn Mantab. Phil Confreros. Fred Moline. Tammy Janine Busby. Dina Olivia Smith. Alicia Miller. Faith Ledholm Match Hicks. Gabriel Esafile Jr. Albert Ocean. Daljeet Kaur. Delia Otuhan. Oyebamji Ohu. Claret Maduike. Madonna Domingo. Samuel Nene. Dominique Nugent. Macaulay Forlemu. Valerie Bailey. Daryl Bailey. Amal May. Sylvia Mize. Say the middle name. Sylvia Barrows Mize. Moranike Olakoya. Crystalline Williams. Jeanette Muamba. Kinner Atakwane. Jacqueline Auka.
Andrea Trimmel Daniel. Eneman Irene Todd Awan. Blessing Benjamin. Matthew G. Hatcher. Andrea Farage. Imelda Costello. Mapendo Safari. Lovemore Zinhenma. Jacqueline Blackman. Tiffany Martin. Antoinette L. Foster. Krista Mary Swan. Chantelle Morin. Pamela Bend. Sarah Capulli. Renee Hoffman. Fumilola Ojelei. Faith Arebishola. Petrinia Sanders. Elizabeth Tita. Marquetta Hart. Lillian Kusona. Adela Quayila. Princess Amadi. Mabi Natumaza. Baredara Baribor. Natalie Joseph. Stacy L. Simmons. Joanne Sands. Melissa de Oliveira Sama. Eva Abe. Esther Abere Agbo. Daniel Funtan. Edith Funtong.
Alamge Mbatazi. Anying Kang Tazi. Fulgencia Smith. Josephine K. Gung. Dominique Lemongele. Adriana Aliota. Jerusalem Johannes. Isabelle Nedzi Im. Adeline Azan. Josephine Yaboa. Ibukun Olagunju. Concilia Nang. Caroline Wethaka. Valmi N. Fontendon. Carolyn Smith. Euphemia Okeki. Rebecca Mensa. Scott Anyangwe Nyambi. Kandu Sherpa. Tanya S. Mershon. Tanisha Weaver. Eberechi Uchegbu. John Wright. Helen Popula. Catherine Canava. Monica Williams. Leonette Young. Yvonne Benko. Artisha Kimberly Fields. Mandy Sikorsky. Candace Martinez. T. 
Tessa Castillo. Juan Gomez Torres. Crystal Edwards. Ambije Elizabeth. Laura Way. Cheryl McDaniel. Anne Elizabeth Willis. Raja Lakshmi Suresh. Manju Chandran. Emilia Asamoa Agei. Henrietta Mosoke. Zainab Koroma. Linda Wardlaw. DeConte George. Rosalind Aborsangaya. Okachuku Madu. Faith Igbaraze. Patricia Eguvon. Cordelia Ogbedi Jonbo. Douglas Brobe. Charity Ose Bona. Golda Trompetta. Betcham Msamayang. Neka Paul. Esther Chiedu. Teresa Copeland. Akalia Blagrove. Akuvi Amuzuvi Abba. Candace Mitchell. Bethlehem Mesgebe. Delphine Timti. Oludolapo Alabeosu. Yonser El Corso Rodriguez.
Haley Sanchez. Zainab Williams. All right. Um, I would love to have the bachelor's candidates please join me on stage for conferral of your degree and to be recognized. Stefan Johnson. Rebecca Tully. Carlos Leon. Daphne Carney. Debbie Forbes. Kayla Class. Alice and Jerry. Renato Brown. Rhonda Lewis. Nicole McCauley. Lakeisha Johnson Campbell. Megan Prisco. Nicole Snyder. Rupa Nataraj. Ashley Whitney Hinton. Justine Turkson. Ramona Banks. Sandra Gady. Brittany McLaughlin. Honolene Milas. Wilhelmina Johnson. Peace Agbo. Victoria McClung. Zachary Ferez. Catrell Nero. Marika Miles. Sharon Hughes Dent. Andrea Jackson. Lindsay Brown. Sherry Pelfrey. Michelle Brown.
Sitlali Lara Lopez. Graduates, please stand. As scholars and practitioners who have received specialists, masters, and bachelor's degrees, you may now grasp your tassels and move them to the left side as a symbol of your academic achievement. Congratulations. You are now official members of the Walden University alumni community. You are joining, you are joining a network of more than 174,000 alumni from more than 165 countries. Welcome Walden University alumni. You should be very proud of what you've accomplished. Your degree is the culmination of hard work, sacrifice, and perseverance. You put in the late nights and some early mornings and everything in between. In between work and caring for children, spouses, parents, and your community, you worked on another draft. You added another discussion thread, even when you were feeling threadbare. <laughs> you also set an example for others. If you did homework at the kitchen table with your children, you demonstrated lifelong learning in a way they will always remember. And if you are the first in your family, like me, to earn a de college degree, you've established a legacy that will inspire generations. If you defied the odds to be here today, you are in great company. You are also in great company today because the people who love you and sacrifice for you are here with you in person, online, or in spirit. They could not be more proud. And so now our final acknowledgement of, this, of the ceremony to perhaps the most important segment of our Walden community. Graduates, please turn and face your family and friends. These are the folks, these are the folks who cooked dinner and did the dishes so you could get an assignment done. They watched the kids so you could read that next assignment. They took on additional burdens, big and small. I'm sure they're thinking of all of them right now. So that you could better yourself and your family. You already did it once, but let's succeed it. Let's give them the biggest round of applause. Yeah. 
And now it's time to prove to everyone that the sacrifice was worth it. Show the world what you can do. Take what you've learned and use it to better your life and the lives of those around you. Set that new course to create lasting positive social change. I urge all of you to use your degree to make life better for yourself and for others. Be the one who steps up to solve a problem. Be a person of character and integrity. Be a person of action and make a difference. Use your education for good. Shine your light and allow the light to shine upon you, especially today. Congratulations and thank you all for being a part of this milestone celebration. We will now conclude Walden's 68th commencement ceremony. I have just one more ask. I ask that you all please remain in place, enjoying the music and the moment with your classmates until the platform and faculty have left the auditorium. I'd now like to invite Grand Marshal John Schmidt to please lead us. Congratulations again to our graduating class.